Hi, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to store and fetch the data from Firebase using Jetpack Compose. So, let's get started. First, we create our project. Here, I'm selecting empty activity. Click on next, name of your project, and click on finish. So, here you have to log in your Android Studio with your email ID. And remember, the email ID is same as your Firebase email ID. So, here, click on tools. Firebase and here click on real time database. Then click on get start with real time database and here click on connect to database. So here you can see our Firebase console is logged in with the same Gmail ID as our Android project. Now click on add project and then here click on continue. Here I'm selecting default account for Firebase and then click on create project. So here you can see our project is created successfully and now click on continue and here we click on connect. So here you can see our Android Studio project is connected to our Firebase Android app. Now back to Android Studio project. So here you can see our project is connected successfully. Now click on add the real time data with SDK to your app and here click on accept changes. So here you can see dependency set up correctly. Now back to Firebase project and here we click on real time database and here we create our database. So now click on create database. Next and here we start in test mode and click on enable. So here you can see our database is created. Now set the rules. And here we set read and write true. And click on publish. Now back to Android Studio project. So here we create a KT file. And name it. So here we define a constructor. The student name of type is string and student role number. Now back to main activity dot kt. So first we here we create a composable method and here we use composable notation and name this composable function fire with ui. And here we provide database reference. Now we create variable name and roll number. Now we use column composable that will arrange our elements vertically. Adding modifier for our So these line adding vertical and horizontal alignment for column. Now we use a text composable that will represent a text. So by using modifier we are specifying padding for our text from all sides. Now we provide the style to our text. Here we use text style composable. We provide the text color then set the size. Now we use font weight parameter. 
So here we set the font weight dot bold. Now we will use text field for the name. So here text field we use to display the text and handle the user inputs. So on value change here we are adding on value change for the text field. So here we will use placeholder and this placeholder we, will, we are adding to display the text as enter your name. Now we use modifier. Now we use text style. And we are adding text style specifying color and the font size to it. And here we choose black color. And here we set the font size 15.sp. And here we set single line true. After that we add a spacer. And it will provide the space between the UI components. And here we set the height 10.dp. We add a text field for roll number. And here we set the text enter your roll number and here we change name to roll number again we add a spacer now we will use button compose will and that we will use to store the data in the firebase so inside this on click method we are adding data. So here we create variable. Name it student. Here we pass name and roll number. So now we will use value event listener method which is called with database reference. So here we use database reference dot add value event listener and here we use value event listener and here we create a override method as control o and we use on data change and on cancel method so inside this on data change method we are setting our object class to a database reference and database reference will send data to firebase so here we use database reference and use set value function and here we set our object class and this database reference will send data to firebase. Now after adding data we will show a toast message that will display our data is added successfully. Now inside on cancel method, if our data is not added successfully, then it will display a toast message that data failed to add data to firebase. Now here we adding modifier to our button that define padding. And inside this row scope, we add text to our button. So here we use text composable. And here we write add data to Firebase. Now here we add a spacer. Now here we will add a button 
that will use to fetch the data from the fireways. So here we don't need to create this. So here we get the data from Firebase. Here we create a variable name. And here we provide our part to the Firebase. And here we provide a student, a student name and a student roll number. And here we use get value method and provide a string class. Similarly, we fetch roll number. And when we click on button, it will display the data, name and roll number. And here we change fill to read data. And here we change read data from Firebase. Now inside on create method, get the instance of Firebase database. And here we get database reference dot get reference. And here we provide our path to the database. So here we calling a method to display UI. Now open manifest file and here we add some permissions. Now run the project. So here you can see the output. Now enter the name. And here, roll number. And click on add data to Firebase. And here it displays the toast message, data added to the Firebase. Now open Firebase console. So here you can see our data is stored here. Now back to the Android Studio project. And here when you click on read data from Firebase, that will retrieve the data from the Firebase. So here you can see. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.